guys, welcome to part one of my series on using ForexBot to try and see how that results compared to human trading. So over the last few weeks, over the last few months or so, I've been actually studying Forex and learning how to trade Forex as well too. I've come to the point where I wanted to see if a robot will be better at trading than a human is and what the error is like on a human versus robot trading. So I've gone out, done my research, I spent about let's say about 20 hours researching a bot and seeing how it performs and kind of managing the performance of the bot and seeing what the difference is like. So I'll show you guys my strategy tester, my notes on that, and also the results of that bot for the first week. And after that, I'll give it another week and see how that performs. And then we'll see what it's like. And if it continues to be profitable, I'll see what it's like at the end of the month. If not, then what I'll see is uh, another robot and see how that turns out. So welcome to the mini series and hope you enjoy it. Let's see the results that this test yields. So let me go here. Let me just make sure the strategy tester is reset. Let me double check that it's on short only because that's what I first did the test on. So let's click OK. Now for this purpose of this test, I'm doing control points. I have done it on every tick. It does take quite a few hours to do. Uh, so for this video, I'm going to do control points only. And so that will, what that will do is it will check every tick from the lesser known time frame. So right now I'm doing it on four hour. So it will check every tick from the one hour. So I'm going to be doing this test from August 1st to about October 2nd. So that'll, let's do this test from August 1st to September 30th. So give it a full two months worth of testing and let's see how it does with the account. Let's do visual mode on. Awesome. So let's start this test. So something that I've noticed with this trade that the robot's just taking right here was that after this uptrend and you see this consolidation, I would have personally taken a sell position here as well too, because that generally indicates that the bulls have run out of power and with the consolidation here with that doji candle, it would indicate that there was a sell. So I'm just looking at how the robot had taken that trade when it went and crossed the previous support and then it placed the cell positioning on there. So that's something different than how do versus what the robots actually do. So while I'm watching this, I can actually tell that it looks like the robot is actually trading at the previous support levels. So once it crosses that support level is usually when it starts activating its sell positions because that was a decent sell right here from up here to down here that would have been amazing profits for you guys there but let's see what it continues to do i'm just going to speed this up because it is taking quite some time to finish the rest of this here so let's speed that up so if you see that it kind of hit a couple profit levels boom 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 show me the money guy say it with me one time jerry show you the money oh no no you can do better than that jerry i want you to say it with you with me Show you the money. Not, not show you. Show me the money. Show me the money. Yeah. Right, show me the money. Alrighty. Now let's see the report. Let's see what the profit was like trading with the spot. Now let's take a look at here. So the results on this one are a little different. I would have to go back and check my specs to see what I did differently. I believe what I did with this one here was that I changed the profits from I changed the stop loss the take profit levels from TP1 TP2 TP3 I believe on this one was still around the 50 TP 150 TP and then a 200 uh, TP for the last profit so I remember going back and when I did this the first time I changed it to about 
25 for the first take profit, 50 or 75 for the second take profit, and for the third take profit, I did it at about 150. So the results might be a little different, but let's take a look at it. So as you can see here, balance was 900, started, it started off decent, started making money with the trades. It lost a couple cents, so like about $4.50 there, a dollar there, and as you can see, the balance is slowly increasing as well too. A good $25 trade there, and the last four uh, trades were negative. So it actually came up to about 1042 You can't expect these robots to trade at 100% efficiency, but as you can see, it ended up with a balance of 1000 So it actually did pretty good in terms of increasing your account if you just wanted to leave your money there and start compounding your money. All right, so as you can see here, I started documenting out the first trade the trading results. So I basically did the month from August. So as you can see, I basically did the month here from, as you can see, I basically plotted out the month, the time frame it was on, as well as the lot size, the position of the lot size, the multiplier, and also, my account profit and how much it gained. So for the first trade, it basically won 24 trades and it lost 12. And this is from August 1st till October 2nd. Uh, and it basically won 24 trades and lost 12 trades. I started with the account size of $900 and it ended up gaining $1,100, $1,170, which basically grew my account at about 1.3%, which is great if you just want to compound your account and just put money in there and start saving as well too, which is most, which is basically more than what the banks usually give you. And that's for a two month span. And then on the next trade, as you can see, I basically tried to try to up the lot size and see what the maximum that the trade that the robot can do. Now, as you can see, it basically started again from August till October, started with $900 balance, and this time it lost money. So it came down to about $462, but it only traded nine times, and that was with four wins and five losses. And it basically minus my account to uh, about 1.93% negative return. And I also put the lot size at about 0 0.03. Now, on the next trade, as you can see, it's from August to October as well, too. Now, again, starting at 900, but this time it gave me the result of $1,543. And that was a multiplier of two. So again, all I did was just increase the multiplier and I brought down the lot size to about a 0 0.01 and it traded about 24 times and it lost 12. So I noticed with this robot here that the sweet spot for it was about 36 trades. And so that's what I continued to do. So with this account, it grew up to about 1.72%. So on the next trade here, as you can see, again, 900, ended up with a balance of $446. Now what I did here was try to, again, push it to the limit and see what the robot can actually do. So I increased the multiplier to about 24 and kept the lot size again the same at 0 0.01. Didn't want to do a huge lot size. Uh, and again, that one brought down the return at about negative 2.02%. So that didn't work quite as well. And then the next trade, basically, what I decided to do was maybe the robot couldn't handle a low lot size while trying to increase my account. So what I did on this trade here was I did a multiplier of 2.4 with a lot size of 0 0.02 just to even it out, a bigger lot size plus a bigger account growth. But this time it brought down my account from $900 to about 408. And it only did, again, nine trades. So it was only won four trades and lost five, which basically gave me an account size of minus 2.2%. On the next trade, as you can see, it was extremely profitable, just like the first trade. So this time, again, I started with $900 and it came up with $1,174 with a multiplier of two with a lot size of 0 0.01. Now for the last trade, I wanted to try something different. I wanted to see if that was only for the two months time that it will double my account 
or if it was for the long span that I had my account in there. And as you can see, I put it from January 1st, 2020 to October 2nd, because I also wanted to see how the bot would handle during uh, pandemic times or recession times like we had this year. And it actually did pretty well. As you can tell, I started off with a $900 balance. And this time it was with a 2% multiplier with a 0.01 lot size. And it ended up with the account for about $2,400. And it won 49 trades and only lost 16. So the account growth on this one was about 2.76%, which is huge if you're looking at just gaining returns and just increasing your money and putting it in there and gaining um, and gaining <laughs> and compounding your money. And it's just like putting it into a bank, except you're getting a larger interest percentage on that account, right? So let's get back to the video and kind of show you guys some more things that I've done with the robot. So after I did the strategy tester and everything like that, it was on Friday and Saturday. So I didn't have time to test it until basically Sunday, October 4th was when the markets opened up again at three o'clock. And first thing I did was I hopped onto my broker and I deposited $600 Canadian, but because of everything, uh, including balances and transfers, it ended up to being $445. And as you can see, the bot is running currently. At first, it was only doing short positions. So it wasn't until today that I'm making the video, October 9th, that I went back into the bot, kind of played with it a little bit more, and I found out that I can do long and short positions. So as you can see right now, the bot has two open positions on Euro uh, for sells, and right now they're in the negative, plus one open position after my testing for a buy position, and the market closed at three those numbers up those are rookie numbers in this racket three o'clock with a buy limit as well too and as you can see right now the account is at minus 23 dollars this trade here for the euro i didn't really have to do um it was a trade that i played and i put down myself other than that we'll see what the bot is like for let's say the 11th to the 16th and see how that plays out and then after that i'll test out another bot as well but other than that i hope you guys enjoy this video and we'll see what happens cheers all right guys as you can see for the first week that i had the bot which was basically from october 4th to october 9th which is today uh it hasn't been that profitable and actually i've noticed a few things as well too that this week's session it was basically the market for euro was basically an uptrend so i got back to the bot this morning and i wanted to see why it wasn't doing long and shorts and as you know as i showed you earlier in the video found out that it can do long and short positions as well too so now we're going to see what it's like for this upcoming week and hopefully the results yield better other than that you guys have a great day cheers guys real quick as well too if you want to learn how to trade forex we actually do offer forex education anywhere from basic to advanced we also offer you guys trade alerts live trading sessions fundamental analysis member support two-week syllabus training 20 pip and dip strategy strategy trading strategy and as well as market forecast every sunday so if this is something you guys are interested in link will be in the description as well too and then last last but not least if you guys can leave a like, comment, and subscribe, that would be awesome. Appreciate you guys. Cheers.